friends now we are going to learn how to prepare the first simplex table simplex table number 1 from a linear programming problem which we have already converted into equalities by introducing slack variables Mini maximize z equals to 40x1 plus 35x2 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 since the slack variables are showing the unused capacity or resources there will be no earning from the slack variables because slack variable is not a sellable item so the contribution margin or profit whatever the case may be should be taken as zero now this is the simple most format of a simplex table cj shows the coefficients of the variables in z function because we are also going to use sin zj so we are not using sin z here say it is 44x1 35 4x2 0 4x1 and 0 4x2 the same coefficient will be written here also for the variables which are here as solution variable or say basic variables as a part of solution this column will be for working notes etc solution variable one by one the variables will come here uh, incoming variables will be placed here these are two basic variables x1 and x2 they show the products these are two slack variables solution value that will be part of calculation and minimum ratio this column is given the title minimum ratio because from this column we are going to select a non negative minimum amount which is the result of a ratio now let us substitute all other values in this table so first of all i have drawn a sketch of graphic solution of this problem c o a b c shows the show the corner points are respectively corner points and 0 0 is also one of them even if in graphic in a graph of any linear programming problem 0 0 is not there in simplex method we always first take 0 0 that means 0 0 solution is or rather corner point is the entry of entry gate of simplex method into the region of feasible solution as we know that the optimal solution of any linear programming problem lies at corner point only we don't need to analyze the whole feasible region here in graphic method we have four corner points but you will see the simplex method will not go through all the four corner points the entry point is 0 0 but now the simplex method will reach the optimal solution that is at b from the shortest possible route from o to b journey can be say completed in through two routes one is o to a to b and another is o to c to b the simplex method will select the shortest possible route to reach the point b that is optimal solution we will observe this thing throughout the steps of the simplex method let us first prepare the first simplex table there are two constraints so there will be two rows in the table we will tell them r1 and r2 in r1 first s1 will be the solution variable because we are assuming that no production is there x1 and x2 both take value zero so s1 will be 60 s1 automatically becomes the solution variable in first inequality the coefficient of x1 is 2 that will come here the coefficient of x2 is 3 <coughs> the coefficient of s1 is 
there is no S2, so its coefficient is 0 and at present the solution value is 60. That means at present the solution is okay, x1 equals to 0, x2 equals to 0, s1 equals to 60. Similarly, second row will be prepared for the second inequality. S2 will be the solution variable because at present the value of x1 and x2 are 0. In second inequality, coefficient of x1 is 4, coefficient of x2 is 3, no s1, so coefficient is 0, coefficient of s2 is 1, and solution value is 96. Since solution variables are s1 and s2, their coefficients will be placed here. Now, what the row of zj. How to find the row of zj? It is actually addition of multiplications. These coefficients are multiplied with each coefficient in the same row and then addition of them is made. 0 into 2 plus 0 into 4. First z is 0 into 2 plus 0 into 4. So it comes to 0. Similarly, 0 into 3 plus 0 into 3, 3, 0 plus 0 equals to 0. Same way, 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0, again it is 0. 0 into 0 plus 0 into 1, again it is 0. Similarly, 0 into 60 plus 0 into 96, Again 0. See if the solution is 0, 0, z will take the value 0. 40 into 0 plus 35 into 0 plus 0 into 60 plus 0 into 96. So the value of z function will be 0. Here in all tables, this point will show the value of z function at different corner points. Now what? Now it is the turn of last row that is known as delta j that is cj minus zj. cj minus zj. 40 minus 0 that is 40. 35 minus 0 35. 0 minus 0 0 and 0 minus 0 0. That's all. Now what? <coughs> Again, go to the objective that is maximization. If the objective is maximization, to have the optimal solution, all delta j values should be 0 or negative. But here all delta values are 0 or positive. That means this is not the optimal solution. Then what? Then we have to go forward. Now, to go to the next table, some formalities are necessary with this table. Again, go to the objective. Objective is maximization. Then what? If the objective is maximization, select the highest value in the delta 0. That is 40 here. Select the column with the highest delta j value when the objective is maximization. So we have selected the row, uh, sorry, column with 40 the highest delta j value. This column is known as key column. What is the role of key column? The solution values are divided by the respective elements in the key column. So, 60 will be divided by 2. 60 by 2, that is the ratio. Result is 30. And 96 will be divided by 4, the element in the respective element in the key column. 96 divided by 4, that is 24. Now, as the title suggests, minimum ratio is selected. Minimum ratio is selected. That means out of these two, we have to select the minimum one. This row is also now selected and row 2, R2 or S2 becomes the outgoing row. The common element of key column and key row is highlighted. 
the four this value four the common element of key column and key row is known as key element what is the role of key element in the next table simplex table 2 at the place of r2 there will be r4 r3 and r4 will be there and r4 will be the result of r2 divided by key element that means 4 the role of key element is to become the divisor of the row to prepare the next table so this was the simplex table number one or the first simplex table which we directly prepared from the linear programming problem which we had converted into equalities in this table this was the solution but we proved that this is not the optimal solution because in maximization problem all delta value should be zero or negative then only the solution is optimal solution thank you now we will prepare simplex table 2 from this table in the next lecture thank you very much